Yosef and the amazing multicolored coat. Yaakov loved all his children, but the young Yosef, born to him at his old age, was his favorite. After many years, Rachel was finally able to bear him a son. And what a special son he was, indeed. Yosef even looked like his father Yaakov. He was an excellent student, and father and son loved to learn Torah together. One day, when Yosef was 17 years old, Yaakov decided to have a beautiful striped coat, custom made especially for Yosef. Woven with threads of many colors, it was absolutely magnificent. A king would have been proud to wear it. Naturally, Yosef loved his multicolored coat. But his brothers were so jealous of Yosef that they started to hate him. To make matters worse, whenever Yosef would notice that his brothers were doing something wrong, he immediately reported it straight to his father. Big Dreams, episode number one. One day, Yosef told his brothers excitedly, You just have to hear this strange dream I had last night. We were all together, out in the field, tying our bundles of grain. And then, you won't believe this, my bundle stood up. And your bundles all made a circle around my bundle and bowed down to it. His brothers did not like that dream at all. They replied, You think you're so special, eh? You think you're a king who we must all bow down to? Ha! Keep dreaming, Yosef! Big Dreams, episode number two. Soon after, Yosef had another dream. Once again, he hurried off to tell his brothers. Listen to this one, he said excitedly. There were 11 stars in a circle all around me. The sun and the moon were there too, and they were all bowing down to me. Pretty interesting, huh? Yaakov interprets the dream. Yosef was so excited that he repeated this dream to his father in front of his brothers. I can't believe what's happening here! I can't believe what's happening here. Yaakov, in his great wisdom, understood that this dream was a form of prophecy, something that will come true sometime in the future. Yet on the other hand, Yaakov did not want his other sons to become jealous. Therefore, he wisely said, Oh, Yosef, that's a silly dream. It doesn't mean anything at all. I understand that the 11 stars represent your brothers, and the sun represents me. But how could the moon be your mother, Rachel? She could never bow down to you. She's no longer alive. Nevertheless, in his heart, Yaakov knew that Yosef's dreams would come true. One day, Yosef would be a mighty king. Yosef's Dangerous Mission Warning! 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 One day, Yaakov said to Yosef, My dear son, I need a favor. Your brothers went to watch the sheep in the city of Shechem. Would you please go and check on them for me? Yosef immediately responded, Here I am. Whatever you want, I will do. This took much courage on Yosef's part, for it was dangerous for him to be alone in the field with his brothers, who hated him so much. Yosef quickly left and headed towards Shechem but got lost on the way. Oops! With the help of the angel Gavriel, he located his brothers in the town of Dosan, which is further than Shechem. One of the brothers noticed him from a distance and said, Look, here comes Yosef the dreamer in his oh-so-special coat. Now is our chance to get rid of him once and for all. Let's kill him! They all chimed in. Great idea! We'll dump his body in one of these pits and will tell father that a wild animal tore him to pieces. <laughs> now let's see what will become of his dreams. Yeah, let's see what will become of his dreams. Yeah, now. See it to be <laughs> but Ruvain, the oldest, knew this wasn't a good plan. 
How could they murder their very own flesh and blood? As he pointed to a pit nearby, Ruvain shouted, Wait! Let's not kill him. Let's throw him into this pit. Ruvain intended to return to the pit later, pull Yosef out, and bring him home safely. If you like this Taste of Shazak Parsha video, you'll love the complete video at shazak.com. You'll also get amazing Parsha quizzers, puzzles, Parsha on a page, and the Parsha post. Use coupon code SHAZAK for a great discount.